back to another amazing episode of Today We Review. And in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Presto Fountain Hot Air Popper. Now, before we get started with this video, if it's the first time you're watching this video, welcome and go ahead and sit down and enjoy the video. If you're returning for another video because you know you liked it and I know you want some more, hey, sit back and enjoy the video as well. I, in, the, in the description sen section, I'm actually going to be including my email. So if by any chance you would like to get in touch with me, send me something, or want me to review something else in particular, specifically, write it down in the comments or email me. Now, I want to go ahead and thank everybody for watching the videos as well. I hope you're currently doing well during this time, an unprecedented time that we're going through. But... You know, I hope everyone's doing well, and I send lots, lots of love and kisses, and hope you all are doing great. So let's go ahead and get started. So this one right here, what you're looking at, is my all-time favorite machine. Out of every single machine that I've had, that I've owned, this one right here, and I want to show my hand in there to indicate how amazing this one is. Whenever I hear somebody mention the word popcorn, I look like this. Whenever I hear popcorn popping, this is what I look like. I want to let you know really quick, I am a huge fan of popcorn and popcorn fanatics everywhere. Welcome. If this is your time to be able to view things during Netflix or whatever streaming uh, whatever streaming program you have or movies and you just want to eat and eat and eat this guy's a uh, one for you so let's go ahead and get started really quick uh, we're gonna start off with a review first of the items and then we're going to uh, look at the actual product and of course test it out and then I'll give my final reviews uh, as you could tell really quick I purchased this one at Walmart and I originally purchased this one maybe about six years ago, five, five, four, four years ago-ish. And the original price was $29.92. I have no idea of whether or not it still is or not. Uh, what caught my attention for this one was mainly because, like I mentioned, I eat so much popcorn. It's not even fun anymore. I eat it with so many different things. If you see that, the different scenarios right here, no, this isn't everything, okay? Trust me, I could fill a book with 101 ways that you could eat popcorn and they will not be this type. So anyways, uh, one thing that I always enjoyed about this particular box is the way of the layout. You know, you have some uh, kids right here and they're having fun and you have, you know, fat adults having fun. And the way I always thought was like, this girl's like, oh, this kid's so crazy, he's eating popcorn. She's like, rah, 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 rah. Mm, popcorn delicious. And then this, the, the, the parents down here, or the grown-ups are like, oh my gosh, we're so high. And he's like, what? You know, so I always thought that was interesting. And this part right here, I always thought it was a kick. You know, she's, the mom's like, oh my gosh, popcorn's so amazing. And she's like, "Eat the popcorn, it tastes good. So that's one reason I bought it, mainly because of that. So let's go ahead and open really quick uh, the inside. And as you could see, I'm actually currently in another location, mainly because uh, we're re readjusting, moving around things. So, um, yes, I'm currently in this part. So let's go ahead and look at the actual item. And like I mentioned, I recently used it. So uh, please excuse the mess within it. And let me show you really quick some of the features that this has. So an additional feature that may not, that doesn't actually um, come with a lot of different poppers is that the initial bowl where it houses the popcorn is also the same one that you can actually use to flip it over and use it as an actual bowl itself. So I thought that was pretty convenient, mainly because if you are the type of person like me that likes to use every type of dish in the kitchen, oops, sorry, in the kitchen, and you make a mess, this is basically a two-in-one. Once you finish popping, all you do is you turn over the popcorn, empty all the stuff out, and now you have a bowl, and you can fill it up with, uh, you know, um, a decent amount of one gallon of pickle juice, and, you know, three quarts of lemon juice, and 
you know, a bucket of um, salt, pepper, and, you know, all types of uh, hot spices and things like that. So, you know, it's good. Um, while I'm here, I want to just inform that I've had this one for a couple of, of years, like I mentioned. And one thing that you will see is that the plastic itself has deteriorated. So it has held its fair share of drops and hits. And it's a pretty good plastic. I'm not going to lie. It's decent. It's tough. Um, the cover itself is a good job as well. It's a regular kind of plastic, maybe for baking. But one additional feature that this has is that when you clip the actual lid on the bottom it creates a division so all the seeds that you're eating or that didn't pop will actually go towards the bottom and you, it basically has like a storage away so you won't actually be able to grab them or anything like that which is perfect i mean think about it what innovative thing of this century has done so much for humanity than this machine right here this machine is the is the epitome of human technology all right, so the machine itself is basically powered by a heat vent similar to what you have in your blow dryer and, you know, your car exhaust systems and things like that. So it has a pretty great good fan and it heats up really well. Compared to other, um, let's say, machines, you can actually fit, I found a, a half cup of popcorn seeds and, I mean, it'll pop the heck out of them and it does a really great job. The top part has three different uh, lids. And what happens is that as the popcorn starts popping, it starts coming up, up, and then everything starts going. This one's here just to, I guess, hold down the popcorn. And right now, in a little bit, I'll show you how the hit works completely. So the general view, it's a really good item. It's a really good, uh, it holds, it's held, and I want to emphasize, it held its own against me. And then once I got married, me and my wife watched movies every day every single day for a whole year so that's 365 movies that we've watched and uh about maybe close to 50 pounds of popcorn is that healthy no of course it's not you know but uh you know whatever um so one key feat one additional key feature is that the box indicates and that's basically you know it has pops like a fountain you know popcorn flows into cover which was what i was mentioning pops with hot air no oil um so there's some that you that indicate that you could put oil on the top part. This machine is not specifically for that. And it says pops to up to 20, 20, ladies and gentlemen, 20 cups in about three and a half minutes with virtually no unpopped kernels. I will tell you this, out of experience, out of my four years of experience that I've had with this machine, this right here is the single most biggest lie that was told to me. This, ladies and gentlemen, is 20 minutes, this machine does not pop 20 cups okay just want to emphasize why because i've tried it what ends up happening is that you have to pop the popcorn and then let the machine cool down and then you can use it again if not then you're basically going to end up having a bunch of issues where uh the machine's just the fans continuously going and like any other machine you have to let it cool down if not you're going to mess it up uh so taking care of it is basically you know the best uh thing you could do for any type of item that you have um the other thing that it does mention is it pops like a fan, blah, 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 and it says uses uh, regular popcorn, kernels, of course, and it actually has saved us money in terms of buying those packages. Even if you buy the Costco package that comes with like a thousand uh, popcorn bags in it, this one actually does a really good job. It is somewhat of a hassle to have to take this thing out of the box and put the stuff in and then pop it and then you know eat it and wash it but you know it's actually really good uh this is the bowl it's actually the only thing that you really wash uh from here and of course you know it gives you like a nice little layout of like ooh cover vent and popping five quarts uh transparent cover stainless steel hot air popping you know it's like oh okay uh, i had no idea literally had no idea that virtually no unpopped kernels another lie i guarantee you another lie there are unpopped kernels in here my teeth no the story um so yeah so this is basically the overview of it and let's go check out how it looks in action oh my gosh i hope i have popcorn kernels that'd be really crazy okay and we're back hey look at this this is my kitchen hey uh and that's me over there uh so good news and bad news i found kernels yay bad news is uh 
not quite as much as I expected. Apparently, we've been eating a lot more popcorn in the past. But it's okay. So, uh, really quick. I want to let you know the quick steps. So, one, you have to have the machine here. Do not plug it in. Trust me. Biggest mistake I did when I first found out about this machine, it has no off and on button. Do not plug it in, okay? If you plug it in and you don't put the cover in and the kernel start popping, your house might go on fire, okay? And ain't nobody got time for that, okay? But uh, so in this case, since we don't necessarily have the full amount of half a cup, uh, we're actually just gonna put whatever kernels are in here and maybe, oh my gosh, maybe, oh my goodness. It's almost half a cup. Okay, so this is what the next steps. Uh, you're gonna go open this lid, open that lid, and you're just gonna dump it in there. Boom, you got it in, bam, boom, presto. Uh, but that's not it, if you call in the next five minutes, you're gonna put the lid on, boom, you got that. Now, here's an important thing also I found out. Don't put the lid on, please don't put it on. Please, please, uh, please don't put it on, okay? Okay, and here we go. It's a Mario. I'm gonna cover the mic just really quick so that you don't hear all the noise. It's not that loud, but it is kind of loud, so, you know, I'm taking care of your ears for your health so that you don't go dead, so. But here's the timer um, of the item. I wanna really quick emphasize that once this popcorn finishes, the bottom of the actual uh, fountain popper is kind of hot. So just be careful with your hands and uh, your face because uh, the seeds are hot. So I want to give you guys a quick glimpse of real time how much, how long it lasts and you know how the actual process looks like as well. Oh, and there you go, we heard the first pops. Oh, did you see that? Oh, 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 it's like the universe is being formed right here, right before your very own eyes. We're having the, the privilege to view a whole new world and creation. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so just like the microwave one, once you start hearing pops, um, laps between seconds, that's when you want to turn it off because if not the fan will just continue running and you might want to, you might burn um, popcorn so at this point we're gonna probably start disconnecting it and ta-da! I present you the magnificent popcorn uh, machine in the popcorn itself so here's how it looks from a distance really quick um, this is basically what you're gonna be encountering uh, like I said, we didn't necessarily have the full half cup. If not, you would see more, but in general, it has a nice, really great foundation. It's not having any kind of issues with leakings or anything. And once we're ready, we're going to put our handy dandy lid. But here's one thing I, I did learn. Uh, although the lid is pretty resi resistant to heat, it's hot. Ay, ah, hot on top. So 
Um, I usually tend to cool it down, leave it cool down for just a little bit. Okay, so after blowing it and getting lightheaded for almost an hour, we're ready. So the top part has ah, been cooled down enough to where you could actually put the lid. Uh, here is an interesting thing also, if by any chance you don't necessarily want to use the bowl itself, you can always grab any kind of bowl that you have and you can just pour it in there directly from the machine. But in this case, we're going to start pouring it. So all you do is make sure that one, you grab it with two hands, you grab it with two hands, two, you look firmly into it with your eyes and let it penetrate your soul. And then what you simply do is you grab it and flip it over and presto, which get it? That's the name, Presto. And you have a wonderful bowl of freshly popped popcorn. Now, this technically is a very healthy snack if you want to eat it by itself. But who wants a healthy snack, right? So one of the things that you could do is either you could add a, a couple of, uh, you know, your salt, your pepper, or if you want, you can add all your favorite ingredients like garlic and herb tomato, uh, spaghetti sauce, you know, peanut butter. You can add corn to it. Or if you want to have a little extra spice, you can add fiber to it. Hey, it's going to be a heck of a great deal towards it. So you can add a couple of different things, you know, and if you're on the run and, you know, you need a meal, why not put a little bit of squeezed tuna into the mix? And there we go. So final thoughts really quick. Oh, and here, hold on. Before I do final thoughts, I have to do the... Now, if you hear it, it's very crispy. Mmm. 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 Delicious. All right, so final thoughts. This product I do recommend for anybody who really invests in either long-term use. Um, like I mentioned, I've had this product for about four years now. It's worked amazing. Before this, I actually had a um, that Mr. Popper kind of uh, deal, and it was mostly your traditional type where the machine's right here, and then it just pops into a bowl. This one, I would highly recommend it. If you can find it, or you can find something similar to this, then that version, mainly because it has a lot of extra features. And like I said, look, once you, once you um, move it around, you're going to end up having all the seeds down there. It's a really great purchase. Uh, I highly recommend it, especially during this time when, you know, we're currently in our homes and, you know, watching TV or watching the news or watching movies is one of the things that we do the most. Um, it's a great time to an opportunity to be able to just uh, have a meal or like a snack with your loved one uh, or your dog or or by yourself. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but yes, so... If by any chance any of you have any questions or concerns or want to call the National Guard, um, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and hey, if you like these videos, why not subscribe and stick around for the next videos. Uh, there was a suggestion from, if I'm not mistaken, Fern something, uh, a YouTube viewer who recommended to do a pandemic uh, edition. I actually had currently started working on it, but... I currently forgot to upload, so I have to find the videos. And in it, it's going to be a small little mini-series reviewing recipes to do at home during this time. So stay tuned next time for more Dragon... I mean, um, for more Today We Review. And if you guys have any uh, other questions or whatever, just go ahead and uh, send me a message. Um, um, I'm very sorry for taking a while to reply. I've been pretty busy, but... If, like I mentioned, if you like popcorn as much as I do, this machine's for you. This machine's here with you, thick and thin. Boom, you got it. Uh, guys, gals, gentlemen, ladies, uh, send you lots of loves and kisses. You all be safe out there and take care. Have a great one.